In this video I'm going to show you how to uh, take a sticker sheet, so that's a single image uh, of lots of stickers all on one page essentially, um, and you split that up into individual ones you can use in Zoom Notes. So first thing is selection tool, um, uh, and then tap on the image, long press, and I'm going to do the transparency of the background first. So that's showing the image. We've got a couple of option, options, paint or fill. Well, I want to fill the bits in between all the stickers. So I'm just going to choose fill and then tap at a position in between the stickers. Um, I think I'm happy with that. You could, uh, could do these little areas as well if you wanted, but I don't want to. And I'm just going to save that. So that's done the transparency of the uh, bits around the stickers, so it just saves a job for um, later. And the next thing to do is choose long press crop. And here we're going to just move these markers, zoom in a bit so you can see better. Um, and I'm just going to arrange it around the first sticker on the sheet. Um, and then you choose save and continue. That saves that cropped area as an image. Um, and you can move that along just by dragging in the centre of that region. Um, just adjust that. There. there we go. Save and continue. And you just continue doing that all the way around <coughs> the image. Now, you obviously, they're not all the same size, so you get down to these ones. We're going to just adjust those marker positions. Save and continue. So then close that now. All looks fairly the same, although up here we've got all of our individual stickers. Um, <clears throat> So you might just want to leave them on a page like that and then you can drag and drop them or copy and paste them. Um, if you want to create symbols out of them, which is probably the easiest way to manage them in Zoom Notes, you'd select them, you'd open the symbol tool and you'll choose add, the plus button there, and then in this instance, uh, it's detected that you've got four images selected and it wants to know if you want to make a single symbol out of those or one for each image. So I want a one per image, so I'll just choose that. Okay, message set's been created. Go down, put it in date order typically, and there we've got our symbols. So chosen one, drop it in. <coughs> 